Mary Me, which is Greybeard Crow Father here again, Friday night. I'm gonna have a little shorter video tonight than I normally do, but I do have a couple things to cover. Hopefully everybody's staying safe and healthy, and I uh, hope that uh, if you're in one of the states that's getting ready to go into lockdown, that you'll be able to make it through. And the way it's looking now, I'm thinking that the entire country is going to go to a lockdown situation, which is very unfortunate, but, you know, it's only to work to save lives and, you know, get through this. Okay, first topic, solitary versus groups. Both have their pros and cons, and I'll go over a couple of those for each and then, you know, we can weigh the options on of one against the other. <clears throat> in a solitary situation, sorry, my camera moved. In a solitary situation, you can do as you see fit, no restrictions. You have a little bit more freedom as the way you can do things. And, uh, you know, it's all totally your own personal choice and the, own, the way that you prefer to practice. Um, one of the cons is, is that if you're a very social person, that it's just you. So, you know, take the good with the bad. A lot of people are going to start out as a solitary, and that's understandable because they can't find anybody to practice with. Unless, you know, by sheer coincidence that you get somebody that can, can uh, practice with you. Uh... With the group, the pros are that um, you actually have a big group to practice with and you can share these times of the Sabbaths and Esbats together and it's more along the lines of, it's kind of like a big old witch party, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, one of the drawbacks is that there are certain restrictions with certain groups and uh, you may start as a you know, lower ranking person in the group if you're just beginning, but you know, you will work your way up, you know, point to point in time where you might actually even become a high priest or high priestess, and then you can offshoot that, um, you know, circle or coven to, into your own, drawing more people in where there's maybe not a group at all. You can form and make them. Um, the, uh, a couple of the drawbacks with that is that it may be a little bit more restrictive in the fact that the, the Sabbaths and Esbats may be held on a certain time and day when you're not actually able to, you know, attend or make it. And some of those groups actually require you to, require you to you know, attend those Sabbaths and Esbats to become a full-fledged member. Um, hi, Cody. Um... You know, in the circle that I run, I don't require any, you know, attendance or anything like that. If you can make it, you can make it. If you can't, you can't. I'm not going to, you know, dump you out just because you had a, um, an emergency on a certain time or day or you just, you know, you got to work or whatever the case may be. I just don't think that's quite fair to anybody who is actively working to be, you know, a witch or a Wiccan just doesn't seem right. I, I can't name any of the groups or circles or covens that I know of that are like super strict like that, but that can be one of the drawbacks. Um, so if you're solitary right now um, and you're still, you know, looking for uh, a group to actually join, uh, I have a few um, uh, references that you can actually check out. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> Witch Fox, which was probably the biggest uh, catalog and listing of groups and s individuals is no longer around. So that was actually a really good, good resource. Um, what you can do on the uh, internet, if you're looking though, is on Reddit, it's uh, reddit forward slash r forward slash coven finder. I know a lot of people have a lot of listings on that particular subreddit and you might be able to find a group you know that can uh, get together and, and you know find out if you're a good match for the group or not um, and the other one is Mandra oh, excuse me Mandragoria Magica.com 
and they have a section that lists uh, groups and covens, and they have a section for the U.S., they have a section for the U.K., Australia. Well, there's actually a lot of different countries that are listed in those in that particular site, so that's something that you can check out too. Now, again, reverting back to the pandemic issue, at this point in time, there are probably not going to be anybody meeting in person right now. Most covens and circles that I know of right now are actually doing their Sabbaths and Esbats via like Zoom or uh, Teams. Um, I actually am planning on running our Yule Sabbath on Facebook Live. Speaking of which, if you're interested in checking that out, go ahead and just shoot me a DM through Reddit. Uh, just look up, uh, I'll put the, I'll put the, uh, I'll put the name in, in the comments afterwards and you can check it out. But I am planning on running the, um, Sabbath on Yule through Facebook Live. I know Facebook, but it's the best way to get everybody together in like one particular spot and way so that we can do that. So if you are interested in, um, Shoot me, like I said, shoot me a DM on Reddit and I will shoot you the link of the actual circle that I that I run and, um, you know, maybe you want to check out the uh, Yule Sabbath. Um, you'll, you'll see it posted in the group if you end up growing and coming in. So, solitary versus groups, each has its pros, each has its cons. Um, you know, choice is totally yours and yours alone, how you decide you want to do it. Uh, next subject, attire. And that has to do with clothing and jewelry and, and whatnot for you if you're a pagan or a Wiccan or a witch. Uh, I do wear a lot of pagan uh, stuff on me. And I wear it all day long at work, and I have never had anybody question me about it or bother me about it. As a matter of fact, I think it was uh, a couple of the things that I have that actually a few people had questioned about and asked me about, you know, what they were. And I told them, and turns out that they were actually uh, solitary practicing witches too, and they found out about you know, the circle that I run and they join and so they've been active participating members ever since they, they, they found out. Um, I always wear, I get the beard out of the way, I always wear this crystal all the time. It never comes off. And then underneath I have, oh gosh, if I can grab it, sorry. I do have my little pentagram. These are usually uh, outside on full display um, all day long, every day. Um, next, which I wear all day long, every day too, except uh, unless I'm taking a shower, is I have a wrist cuff. And that wrist cuff has a um, leather, tool leather um, Yolinor, and that's how I actually honor um, Thor, which is the one person that I was talking about in, a while back that came to me in a dream that I honor. I don't I don't worship him, I just honor him. Uh, I also have this, uh, let's see if I can get it close enough. It's a ring with a pentagram on it that stays on my finger 24 seven. Uh, another wrist torque piece, uh, another Yolinor. And then the last one, I don't know if I can do this right. It's hard to see. Uh, if you look at it sideways, you'll see it's got the Triskelion uh, leather tooled in a uh, raven inside, and that is the symbol for the Morrigan. And again, that one stays on my body 24 7. Um, like I said, unless I'm taking a shower, I don't want to wear them in the shower and, 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 and you know, chance ruin them. So. Um, so, if you feel that you want to wear your jewelry and whatnot in the public, I say go for it. It's 
nothing any different from, say, a Christian running around wearing their um, cross outside or any other religious artifact. Yes, you may get questioned about it. Some people give you the stink eye when they see it, thinking that you're a Satan worshiper when you know that's not the case. And then a lot of times you get questioned about it, and then you can actually, uh, you know, make them aware of what it actually stands for and represents. I do think, oh, okay, one time we were walking down the street at a, um, it was a um, outdoor craft show um, along the city streets down the sidewalks. And I had mine on and my wife had hers on. And um, as we were walking by this one booth, a gentleman called out to us, Mary Meat. And we turned around and looked at him and said, Mary Meat. And then he started asking us questions and we told him, yes, we're Wiccans and witches. And he he is too and, and he and his wife are both practicing. And so with that, I let him know about the circle. And again, they joined and became active participating members of the group. And I do believe that they were overjoyed to meet uh, another person or people that were practicing and then they were actually shocked at the amount of people that we had you know coming to these celebrations so get your attire on wear it with pride if you can I understand there are a lot of you that have to keep it secret I get that I understand whether it's your parents or you know grandparents or other family members that just don't understand right yet and may never understand, I, I, I get that. So use your discretion, but if you don't have any of that situation, wear it and wear it with pride and, you know, let the world know. I have never had anybody confront me or give me any problems. Um, I don't know if it's just because they're scared or you know, just, or they don't care, but I've never had any problems. My wife, you know, she wears hers out, her pentagram out all the time, goes to clubs, goes to, uh, not not like dance clubs, like quilting clubs and stuff like that, um, and, and never, ever had any problems with it. Um, yeah, so if people find out and they're going to judge you and buy your attire, then that's just their stupidity. If they don't know and find that they come to like you for your personality and if they find out, then maybe they'll still accept you for who you are. Maybe they'll be stupid and, you know, you know, not want to talk to you again. But if any, you know, normal, uh, rational thinking person doesn't say anything about it and they don't care, then great. More for you. Um, yeah, so, again, wear it with pride and, and you know, show the world, who you are and, and what you are. Uh, I do not have any homework for tonight. I um, wasn't sure if I would be able to actually put up any, unless, you know, you want to actually you know, go out and if you have the, the means to do so, purchase a um, piece of pagan jewelry, by all means do so. You may uh, feel that it empowers you in some way, shape, or form. I... I feel that me wearing this stuff, you know, makes me who I am. So don't let anything get you down and be yourself. That being said, hopefully everybody has a good night. Stay safe, stay healthy. Blessed be all.